Hi you guys, this is Wendy coming to you with another entry for my favorite things challenge. There's still a week or so to enter my challenge. The deadline is March 17th. I'm giving away two prizes and I'll go ahead and link the challenge directions or the video for the challenge uh, in the space below. And so this particular entry comes from Tracy Wheeler and I'm not sure if I have down what her YouTube name is. It may be Tracy Wheeler. Um, I'll have to check on that and link the information in the space below. Um, but I've taken it out of the, the packaging and um, looks like she sent a pocket letter, a card, and a few extras here. Let's take a look at the card. How cute is that? Um, she's got all kinds of little vintage images, the airmail, uh, that pointing finger. That pointing finger I just love. <laughs> um, when I encounter that, I try and snag those. Uh, we have a moth and some buttons. Um, we have some um, packaging, and I'm not sure what for. I'll have to look it up. Um, run it through a translator so I know. We have a button and this perfect attendance certificate, a bow, and this little clip. And I love the card itself. The card itself kind of reminds me of uh, some old pillowcases. Not pillowcases, but the actual pillows <laughs> that my grandmother used to have at her house. And they were this kind of um, really, um, they were striped. And I can't, there's a name for that fabric, and I cannot think of that for the life of me right now. But that's very cute. Thank you for that. And she's left it blank inside so I can use it for my purposes. And let me go ahead and look at these. Um, love the clip. I think it might be a Dollar Tree clip. I had a couple of those packages of that and I've since given them away so I'm glad one of them made their way back to me. Um, we have some yellow tickets and an assortment of journaling cards. I like all the sort of subtle color schemes on here, the grays and the blacks and the browns and even this kind of light, it's not even really aqua. Um, but just real gentle colors. Those are great. And we've got a few bigger sized uh, journaling cards. This one says family. And it's got the little cutout there. And then we have this really pretty blingy, glittery uh, journaling card, which on the other side has got the brown journaling lines. Very cool. I love journaling cards. Those are always, always welcome. And then she's got her pocket letter all packaged prettily. She's got the pink baker's twine and this really cute um, butterfly washi. I should have probably put butterflies on my list because they often make their way into my projects. Oh, there's something else here too. Let's see. And did you guys know that every time I get tissue paper, I keep it and I purposely crumple it like so. And then when you undo it, of course, it's got texture. And then what I'll do is I'll put a layer of glue or yes paste down and then I adhere it to the surface and it makes a really pretty surface very kind of pillowy and soft and old-fashioned. So, just my little tip for the morning. <laughs> um, how cute. So we have a sewing-inspired pocket letter. Look at all these, how cute. Um, first thing I notice is this cute washi tape on the edge, little flowers with the greens and oranges and yellows and pinks. Um, and then on each, we have buttons in the middle 
and a little sewing machine charm. How cute! And then just in each pocket, all sorts of sewing notions and uh, some vintage lace and some buttons. Uh, we have, I think this is the Tim Holtz image. A little sewing machine here. Lots of words that are kind of nice and inspirational, beautiful, happy, kindness, love, follow your heart, I'm courageous, live in the moment. This is really pretty. Let's see if I can kind of put that down so you can see the whole thing. Very pretty. And then on the back side, she has shared with me some pieces of fabric and this little flower that's made out of burlap and some lace. Um, these little stamped images, I'm trying to remember where I've seen those before. People have passed those on to me before and I'm not sure quite where people get them. Um, on either side of the little pocket here, we have some washi samples and we have some little clip art images. And then uh, I think this is probably her note to me. Let me check. I think that's probably what this is. Oh, no. Let's see here. It's always good to check, right? <laughs> um, and then we have... Gosh, I'm dropping things all over the place. Oh, these are neat. They're little um, clear sewing type images. Little pieces of um, sewing, happiness, the buttons. We have a dress form, a little piece of lace. says Rem remember this moment and then we have these little they look like little sticker or oh, no they're little punch out uh, page corners so these are really cool I've never seen these before and I really like the color scheme it's kind of like a it's red but maybe a little deeper like a maroon kind of matches my sweatshirt <laughs> so maybe maroon so those are cool and then we have this little package, maybe an ATC. Yeah, she made me an ATC. Cool. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is an ATC she made me with the little butterfly or moth. We've got a bird. The background image is real pretty. It looks like it's uh, she's done some spray inks or something. It's kind of modeled. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it and just little um, beads in the middle of our flowers and little um, rhinestones. This is really, really pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the pocket letter and the card and the ATC and the extra goodies. I really appreciate your entry into my very first challenge and um, really have enjoyed getting to know you ladies. Uh, as well as being able to see the different styles that are coming across just using the same uh, 10 challenge items. So thank you so much, Tracy, and um, we'll soon have a winner, right? A week from now. So we'll see you guys here in just a minute with two more entries. <laughs> All right, thanks.